All right, guys, so a couple of you have mentioned that you've been having a hard time installing Ghidra. So I figured I'd go ahead and just do a quick video on my installation process that worked for me. I'm just doing a voiceover, so I'm just going to add commentary where needed. I think it's just really your preference on where you want to unzip this file to. I don't think it actually matters. So you'll see here that it's asking for JDK 17. I'll go into the Ghidra installation instructions. Apparently they're old because it asks for you to download uh, the JDK 11 and 11 will not work. I'll go ahead and uh, provide links for the GitHub for the Gidra and for this uh, JDK 17 install. So right here, it goes ahead and opens up properly, but then I'm going to go and move the uh, shortcut onto the desktop and I show a couple different ways, one way that doesn't work and then the way that the shortcut will work on your desktop once you move it. So dragging the shortcut or copy pasting it does not work. You have to right click on it and then uh, do a create. Then it works properly. So I have some scripts and uh, some processor languages on my other laptop that I wanted to get onto this laptop. So that's what this is. I'm just deleting files from the processor that comes in the uh, original Ghidra 11 download. And I am putting processors into it from my other machine. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Then there's just the long process of uh, zipping or archiving all your projects from the old laptop and uh, moving them over to your new laptop. So, um, Entering scripts into Ghidra is fairly straightforward, but if you guys are wanting a video on that, I can go ahead and make one. Just let me know in the comments. All right, thanks for watching.